We have the latest developments now from Russia's war on Ukraine. A top Ukrainian official is making a stunning revelation this morning about the number of Ukrainian soldiers killed in the fighting. This is recent video showing Ukrainian forces near the front line in eastern Ukraine. The fighting there remains intense. Ukrainian and Russian forces have been hitting each other's positions with heavy guns for months now. Losses on both sides in that battle climb higher by the day. Abby Kuadasan is with us on this story from London this morning. So, Abby, the Ukrainian official making this revelation is, is a top advisor to Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. So what has he been saying? Absolutely. And he's sharing that between 10 and 13,000 Ukrainian troops have been killed since Russia invaded in February. Mikhailo Podelyak told a Ukrainian television network that Zelensky will make that data public at the appropriate time. Now, the Ukrainian military has not confirmed this figure. The last time it reported on deaths was back in August when it was announced that 9,000 servicemen and women had died. It is worth noting that just last month, the top general in the United States, Mark Milley, estimated that about 100,000 Ukrainian soldiers had been killed and wounded in this war, Hillary. And, Abby, Ukraine and Russia have not had any face-to-face -face talks since March, some of those early days of the war. So in the months since, we have heard from Ukraine's European allies, uh, thinking about both Germany and France here, calling for new talks, potentially involving the U.S. So is there any new movement there? Yeah, when it comes to engaging with Putin, the French approach has been drastically different to that of the United States. Emmanuel Macron has been in contact with Putin multiple times since the war started, despite the criticism that he's faced for doing so. He says talks are necessary to avoid escalation. And he was standing next to the U.S. president when Joe Biden was asked if he would be reaching out to the man in the Kremlin. Here's what Joe Biden had to say. I'm prepared to speak with Mr. Putin if, in fact, there is an interest in him deciding he's looking for a way to end the war. He hasn't done that yet, but I'll only do it in consultation with my NATO allies. Now, the Kremlin responding to that comment this morning, saying there can be no basis for talks until Washington recognizes Russia's newly annexed territories. We know Kyiv has repeatedly declared it will take back its territories, and the United States has also made it very clear that it supports Ukraine, Hillary. Abby, thank you. Abby Kuadasan for us in London.